just going to show you guys me unboxing the brand new PlayStation 4 console. Very excited to be playing it. Very happy to finally be unboxing it because I've actually had this uh, PS4 for a little over a week now. And due to just me uh, not having the time to actually make this uh, unboxing video, and finally now I do, at least for a little bit, I can finally show you guys, you know, just my first impressions, what I think of the console itself and whatnot, and just show you guys the overall you know, how it looks when you uh, take the console out of the box, finally. Um, just bear in mind right now, I actually have a really bad cold. I'm really fighting a really bad cold right now. So if you hear me clearing my throat or, you know, coughing, please throw with me. I'm, it's really bad right now. But, putting that aside, let's go ahead and uh, check out this uh, PS4. Real quick though, I know a lot of you are going to be asking me, when am I going to be getting the Xbox One? Answer is, uh, soon. I'm not sure when, but soon. I do plan to get both consoles. I already have one, so I'm going to get the other. I'm not sure I'm going to be getting the Xbox One, but um, hopefully I can get it as soon as I can, as soon as i got time. Of course, the beginning of the PS4, it's going to take a little bit of time before I can finally uh, get the Xbox One. So, until then, let's uh, take a look. This bad boy, it's got a handle. Sounds pretty nice. Uh, so, it's the front of the console. Pretty standard PS4, you have the console and the controller there. Uh, on the side, it just says, you know, PS4. Other side says, you know, what's included, the console itself, the controller, USB cable, um, you got your AV cable, HDMI, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Turning this around, uh, you can kind of see some games that they're uh, advertising on the back, such as you got Assassin's Creed 4, Nag, Killzone, Watch Dogs, Infamous, Second Son. Tells you uh, what the PlayStation Plus is. I don't know what it is, but for those of you that um, don't know what that is, it tells you what it is right here. It's kind of like Xbox Live, but for PlayStation. And then on that side, uh, what's over here? Watch, play, and stream your favorite digital entertainment. Yay! So, of course, you can actually uh, connect this to your Vita. And uh, if the game supports it, of course, you can actually uh, play your Vita games on the go, which is uh, pretty nice. So let's go ahead and open this guy up, but I need to get a knife. One second. Funny story about me getting this PS4. Uh, once it came out, of course, it was pretty much sold out everywhere. I saw that coming. Like, brand new console coming out, everyone's going to try to be getting it. It was sold out in every single GameStop store in my town. Finally, um, when I actually ended up getting this, I was actually uh, at work, and one of my friends was like, dude, GameStop says that they have like two of these left. You have got to get over there because they're about to run out. So I finally took off, and when I finally got to the GameStop, they actually said that they had one left, which was this one. So I am very, very, very lucky to uh, actually be having this guy right here. Last one at the uh, GameStop store, so put this knife down. Don't want to cut any of the cords. So here we go. Ready? I can't see that. What's it look like? It look cool. It look cool. Oh, look at that! Look at that! All right, nice and easy. So let's see what we got inside here. We got a crap ton of. A covering. So, firstly, the console itself. Get that out of here. And get that out of here. And of course, we got even more covering. Let's get that dust off. Anyways, yeah, that looks really shiny. Of course, there's going to be fingerprints all over this, but whatever. I don't care what anyone says. This design looks just so sleek. You can definitely smell that brand new shipping, brand new shipping smell. I know some people have criticized the design of this. Oh, it just looks like a eraser. I don't care. It looks pretty cool. So on the front, we've got uh, let's see, got a couple USB ports. You got your. Uh, where you put your disc tray in, of course. Uh, the side just tells you, you know, it's got Blu-ray, HDMI, Adobe Digital, blah, blah, blah. The back has a uh, digital optical out, HDMI, your Ethernet cable, your aux cable for your, uh, pretty sure it's for the uh, PlayStation Eye. Yeah, 
then your uh, AV cable, of course. So looks very, very sleek. I love this uh, design, so I think Sony did a great job on there. And then we've got the amazing DualShock 4. Well, DualShock 4 in the back. Let's take it out of the back. And there we go. Oh man, the first time holding this, it's very, very comfortable. Overall, much, much better design than the DualShock 3. Um, theme, the uh, thumbsticks on your theme been on your fingers way really nice. Uh, really prefer these concave uh, thumbsticks they've got. Uh, the D-pad's a little bit better. Um, the buttons definitely feel a lot more responsive. You got the, the touchpad. Uh, the triggers, I like how they curve outward instead of inward. The inward was kind of weird, so I like how these are outward. Kind of like how they are on the Xbox. Uh, you've got your, you know, your little port for your headset. It's got a little speaker on it and whatnot, so definitely best design so far. It's very, very light too, which is really surprising. That's good though. Um, I've heard this weighs like not even a couple ounces more than the DualShock 3. So that's really impressive how lightweight it is. And you've got some sort of a quick start guide. Tells you how to set up the damn thing. And we've got some cords. We've got your AV cable. Isn't it hilarious how Microsoft actually cannot figure out how to make an AV cable without putting a huge fucking power break into the thing? It's like, Microsoft has this giant power brick to power it. And Sony, to power it, uses this. <coughs> this to power it. It's like, come on, Microsoft. You can't stop with those power bricks. They're so stupid. I like how the Xbox One, I saw someone unboxing it, and it has this, uh, the, the, like, the Xbox logo on it. Me personally, that's like Microsoft's way of saying, uh, hey look, we got this, we got a power brick and it's even bigger than the last one. <laughs> you know, pointing in our faces and laughing. Just like, really? You couldn't have made the power brick any larger, but whatever. Hopefully they come out with a slim version for the Xbox One because I did see it in person, I did use it in person, it is enormous. And you've got your little tiny earbud for your chat. Yeah, this is tiny. This ain't gonna work. I'll probably just use my uh, my turtle beaches to talk. So these won't really last too long. And then, uh, let's see. You've got your... This is a USB. Yeah, USB to charge up the DualShock. you got your... Uh, what is this? This is HDMI. So, that's all. Well, that will about do it for my unboxing for this PS4, guys. Again, sexy controller. The console design is great. It's surprisingly lightweight. It actually feels lighter than the PS3, even, so definitely great design. Can't wait to be playing this. Stay tuned for a lot of uh, videos that we be playing on this thing. I have to figure out how to record it. Don't worry, I'll figure, I'll figure out a way out to do it. But until then, guys, thanks for watching, and... Be sure to subscribe.